everybody, I'm Food So Cool. We are going to remake the emo tutorial video. Hi, Ruffler, by the way. So, tablet I use is the Wacom Bamboo. One by Wacom, model CTL-471. And then, I use a program called Krita because it's free and it's a pretty powerful tool for being free and yeah so file file the new oh you can't even see whatever file new create new document i have an emo predefined thing and i have it set at 690 pixels by 690 pixels with a resolution of 30 pp 300 ppi 300 ppi 300 pixels per inch that's a lot that's pretty high def some people i think some artists go as as high as like 600 ppi for like high texture posters and stuff like like silver and stuff but 300 ppi i think is the rule of thumb that's what i've been following at least with other with other um emote artists and stuff and then so i used to actually draw emotes twitch emotes on the on a canvas of 112 by 112 because that's the that's the um dimensions of the biggest like twitch emote you upload and stuff but then i learned um from like gears art and kuros that uh it's better to have a bigger file size and then size down after um, Gears Art uses 690 by 690. Um, he said you can use up to like 1008 by 1008, which is a direct um, multiple of 112 by 112, and that will um, size down better. So, yeah, but it's better to have, if you have like a bigger um, resolution image, it's like, you can get more detail in, but also you have to keep in mind that emotes are simple and they will end up on a small canvas, so don't get it too detailed. But I like it um, color-wise because I was wondering why my my emotes weren't like super like like I couldn't get like shading into it, like shading details into it. and like people would have like the gradients on their colors and stuff on the skin and the hair with the emotes and I was like how do I make mine softer I can't I can't with a 112 by 112 so yeah sizing up makes it easier to get those details in this is the before because this is when I I drew on a on the 112 by 112 canvas and then this is the HD version when I drew on a on an I drew on the 690 by 690 canvas do you say yeah, feels bad, man. Look at the difference. I was like, whoa, it's HD. Okay! <laughs> Create your document. Ta da! There's a new blank canvas. And I like keeping the white background, but you can also draw like different background, color backgrounds, because at the end, you're just gonna hide this layer to save it as a transparent emote, but we will start on a white canvas. This is a dab heavy stream. I dab when I I feel awkward, but hopefully you guys saw mine too much. Okay, so we will start off making a simple pink cat emote. I use this. Oh wait, you can't see. <laughs> I use. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. I use this brush on Krita. This one. So it looks, it's like this jokey one. But that's up to you style-wise. And then go to the layer tab. Okay, simple emote. Ta-da! Maybe this isn't the best brush. I don't know, but it's all it's all stylish and stuff. It's all it's all your own style. 
Don't don't steal. Don't chase people's artwork. Don't steal people's artwork. Do your own style. Do your own thing. Okay. We can just make it white. That's fine. Oh wait, let me hide the background layer. It's more natural to have like warm shadows and then blue and then cool highlights or something. I don't know. Can you explain that, Carlos? I don't know. I just I just learned that from I learned that from I don't know, I guess different artists and, and from stage crew in high school. I kinda like it like this. I don't know why I wanna put shadows and stuff. Oh well, we put shadows. Tones, tones, tones. It's just tone, okay. I don't understand it. I, I just follow, kind of. Okay, it's like super uneven, but it's okay. Oh yeah, and then people mirror. I learned that from other emo artists that people mirror so they know it's like symmetrical. Yeah, so you can mirror stuff to make it, make sure it looks more symmetrical. Perfect, okay. So now we can save. Flipping the canvas very strong. Use liquify tool when adjusting on a flip canvas. Oh, I don't know how to use the liquify tool. I will add that to tutorial. Kuro says, <laughs> little pop-up bubble. So making sure the back layer, the background layer is gone. So it's a transparent emo and not a square. You can save as a PNG. And tutorial PNG, woo. So, you can image, scale image to new size. And then Twitch emos are 112 by 112. Once you like scale it down to 28 by 28, make sure it's still looking cute. And then you can save it. Or what I learned from Gear, well, I, I learned this from Gearstart. I learned from Gearstart that you can like slightly edit your emote but you can't make it like a completely different image, but if like it's kind of blurry or something, you can cl actually like clean up your emote, the smaller emote size. You know, like, oh, no, uh, that's too fuzzy, like da 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 da. I wanna make it wider, like here, here, here. Um, you can, you can clean up your emote and then save it. Um, and then I was like, Oh, but what if you like save a different, completely different image as your emote? And he said, um, well, you, you lose your good standing. Um, it's like manual. Yeah, you can add pixels, yeah. But uh, yeah, you're gonna lose your good standing if you do that. Okay, a suggestion from Kuros. <laughs> a suggestion from Kuros is to use the Firebase app. Oh, wait, okay, yeah. The Firebase app. <gasps> Link in description below. <laughs> Look how cute it is! It's actually really cute. Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh my god, it flips! <laughs> Adorable! Yeah! That's it! Woo, tutorial done! Pog! What else should I do? 